Hello, everyone. I need to stop butting into these pre-recorded episodes, but uh, I think this might be the last time I, I do that. But, <clears throat> you know, um, it's important. Uh, firstly being, this is uh, our 30th Pocket Adventures episode. Uh, for those of you who haven't caught up on everything, it's okay. The story isn't a major uh like like there isn't like a lot of major things that happen it's more of just like a casual fun like the anime um and the video games you don't really need to know what's going on in order to know what's going on really but i do hope you enjoy it nonetheless uh so for those of you who caught up you'll know how uh how long it's taken us to get to here um uh for those of you who haven't and this is your first episode or your third episode, second, whatever. Welcome. I appreciate all of you for being here. And this is uh, this is definitely uh, this is definitely an uh, a great time to be. Yeah, being able to jump in anywhere is is very nice. Um. And uh, I, I just hope we we just hope that you uh, that you guys enjoy uh, every bit of what we've got. Uh, thank you. This is a handmade beanie. Um, that you guys enjoy every bit of what this show has to offer. And speaking of that, uh, a good friend of the show, Jason Charles Miller. Uh, I was talking with him earlier today, and we got to talking about Pokemon, and he. He offered us uh, to be able to use. Uh, he he did a cover of the Pokemon theme song, and I made sure to ask him. It what did Nintendo or Pokemon come at him for that? And uh, he said no. Everything's in the clear, so I have his permission to be able to use this song. So that was earlier today at around like five thirty or six. So I instantly got to work on something, and it is not my best work by far, but I really hope you all enjoy uh, something I put together. I, I did it in like an hour, and then the next hour, for some reason, I couldn't transfer it from that computer to this computer, but I was able to figure it out at like 8 o'clock to, <laughs> to make it work. So I was stressing out trying to get it here, um, but I do hope you guys enjoy it. This is this is by far just a placeholder for what we want in the future, but I really hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope all the dragons that are in here, um, especially the ones who are a part of this, uh, this campaign. Uh, I really hope you guys, uh, have big smiles on your face by the end of it. Cause I was close to tearing up while making this. Um, and it was, uh, it was a lot of fun uh, just making it. it it's it, like I said, it's by far not my best work, but it is a work of love and passion. Uh, so I guess enough of me yapping about it. Um, I'm going to put on my headset so I can hear it again. Um, but uh, without further ado, here is the new intro to Pocket Adventures. Enjoy. <laughs>
And welcome. We are the Smoking Dragons and we are Traverse Dungeon Crawlers. And today, we're on a roller coaster. Apparently, we're all putting our hands up. I ain't doing that shit. I was just <laughs> doing this to see what would happen. I, I ain't doing that shit. We're on a roller coaster. And this time, I remember what chapter I, number it is. It's chapter 30 today of Pocket Adventure Sino. Oh, the show is officially I that. old. Huh? It's a 30 episodes. It's officially old. It's officially middle aged. Yeah. That's. That's kind of hurting me a bit. I still call 30 middle-aged. It's not, though. I call it middle-aged. It's really not. But if you live to 80, it's no longer the middle. That's yeah. true. You're right. So it just depends on when I die. This used to be the end of the line. No. It's not anymore. You used to never make it here. <laughs> well, that that's what I mean by it's the end of the line. Like, once you got to about where I am, you're either dying from uh, literal shit or sword or the element or anything ah uh, yes there i want to go back up there to the ren fair yeah oh well good luck with that people died there i hope to be one of them <laughs> <laughs> but anyways we have a great show for you guys tonight um, hopefully it's not, uh, boring, so I just made that promise, so it better be good. <laughs> no pressure, guys. Why do you gotta oh, lie yeah, to our- story. Why do you gotta lie to our audience like that <laughs> so readily? <laughs> you're- you're the one who should already know if it's gonna be good or not. That's gonna suck. Just kidding. You guys might as well just click away. I'm kidding. Don't. Please don't. We love you. Don't listen to him. Yeah, don't listen to me. Except for when he says it's gonna be a great show. I don't know what to listen do to now. listen to Pippa. But anyways, we want to thank everybody over at Foji Kaigon, uh, our partners in this endeavor. They have some great merch for you. Uh, if you go and check out their stuff, we have the uh, the dinosaur zords, quit but that's dinos dinosaurs and quit staring at my crits. And we have Saitama Chu, and Christian did not wear one. Nope. Which is fine. He specifically wore a Digimon shirt to piss you hey, off. Hey, hey. Kabumai. Friendship. <laughs> yeah, we want to thank them. And if you want to get one of these shirts for yourself, unfortunately, you have to be in the Southern California area and go to Frankincense. But if you are in the Southern California area and you go to Frankincense, they are inside and they have some great stuff for you. Just tell them the Smoking Dragon sent you and they'll get you a great deal. On top of their already great deals. Uh, aside from that, um... We haven't thanked them in a while, but it goes without saying. Did we uh, thank them last week? We did not. Well, no, I'm not talking about Foji Kaigon. I'm talking about the per people who we're oh, about to thank that we haven't thanked okay. in a while. Um, but we haven't thanked them in a while, but they are the entire reason that we can even do this. Uh, Joe, the DM over at You Meet in a Tavern, who created this module for us to enjoy Pokemon and Dungeons and Dragons together officially <laughs> instead of just homebrewing it uh but they have all the modules uh the, all the all the manuals uh for this module and again they recently just came out with generation seven and now that we have that now i'm wondering when gen eight because gotta have them all you know so do we, do we need gen eight there are some Pokemon yes. in Gen 8 that I do, really, do really we, like. Do we really need to implement Gigantamaxing in this? No, oh, we, we can ignore <laughs> that part because we don't even, we don't talk about Z-Crystals. That's true. Yeah, we don't talk about Z-Crystals. The I only mean, thing I, I mean, mentioned is Mega Evolution. I'm because not. Mega Evolution was actually pretty, pretty tight. Hold up, Pummeling. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally what they do in the team. I could get the tiger and just Macho Man elbow drop somebody. It's actually a frog splash, but in my head it's an elbow drop. 
because it's better. Because why would a tiger be doing a frog move? It's just what it's called. Jesus, man. I can watch wrestling. But then we get things like frog smile. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Are you telling me to watch yes. wrestling? Yes, I'm telling you. And Kung Fu and Urshifu. I like Kung Fu I like and Urshifu. Urshifu. I really like her. Really good. But anyways, that is enough of that tangent. Uh, let's go ahead and get on to the recap. Ablaza, are there any new additions to your team? I don't fucking remember. Hold on. <laughs> it's a, it's Hold a, it's a, a sub-tangent. Hold on. I did get something new. But what was it? What was it? I caught a sea leo. And a frogadier. I have the frog. Yes, he caught the frog. He went back caught by himself frog. to go get it. Yeah. I want that goddamn frogadier. And then when he I back, want he broke his ankle. I Yes. No, it's my Rich. face. It's fine. I broke a lot of things. My pride is not one of them. So, two new additions to your team. Christian, I'm sorry, I mean Christian. Uh, are there any... We haven't heard that joke in a while. Yeah, I had to bring it back. A lot. This is the episode of bringing things back. It's all coming back to me now. Is this the part where we bring back my magic carpet? Dude, I'm not high enough for this right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, are there any new additions to your team? I caught a muddy horse. Caught a muddy horse. A mud mud bray. A muddy horse. No other additions to your team, or the thing was just the one? No, it's just the muddy horse. And Vincent, any new additions to your team? I caught uh, Dewat. Dewat? Dewat? Yeah. <laughs> Dewat. Dewat, Dewat, Dewat. All right. So, with the team additions out of the way, let's actually go ahead and find out what happened last episode. If you haven't seen it, I'm sorry. But you should. In either case, last episode coming off of Route 214 into the Valor Lakefront area, our heroes decided they wanted to go check out the Valor Lake Memorial. Because, as most of you who played Generation 4 remember, that lake blew up. And they never filled it back up again. So it is a hole in the ground. So... Our boys decided to check it out while Ablaza went back to Route 214 to catch himself a frogadier. Ow. <laughs> yeah, that's how that experience went for you, wasn't it? A little. Yeah, when he came back to the Valor Lake Memorial, he was full sprinting, and they were about to enter the Valor Memorial when Ablaza decided he was going to jump the chain, uh, uh, the chained portion of the uh, railing and uh, trip off the railing and fall into the lake hole. So now I remember why I was all, doing this. All according to plan. Yeah, it was all it according was to plan. It was one hundred percent according to plan. I say, as my face is completely scuffed, nose is bleeding profusely. He got. He uh, definitely kissed the ground multiple times on his way down. Dude, me and the ground have a relationship. You don't need to judge. You full on made out with the ground. <laughs> you don't need to judge me on this. It was hardcore. I don't need your kink shaming. Oh, you're getting it anyway, apparently. <laughs> As he rolled down the hill, he entered into the cave that was at the bottom of the uh, massive crater and went inside. Christian and Vincent went ahead and followed him down because they wanted to see if he was dead. Uh, he wasn't. He was fine. And as they were searching inside the cave, they heard clanging. And from... Very nice. And out from behind some ruins, a Delmize attacked with its whirlpool. And Christian, not knowing how to swim, was starting to fear because the water level was rising. Our three heroes took out the Delmize after nearly drowning. And the purveyor of the Hotel Grand Lake came and rewarded the boys and thanked them for their efforts in dispatching the Delmize so that tours may continue in the Valor Memorial. Mm -hmm. Right, trespassing was the correct option. And 
The boys are we're, we're charged with telling more people about the Hotel Grand Lake to try to drum up some business. Whether they will do it or not, it's completely up to them. Until th until then, they are heading back on Route 213 where they caught some of their Pokemon and we pick right up on this pocket adventure as they're about to encounter their second re uh, their, their second wave of three Pokemon. I forgot how much I hate this dice. I looked at it again. Oh yeah, no, there's <laughs> that one's not even one of this them. This dice fucking is stupid. There's one. Hold on, ice. Where's that D stick? Oh, you can go you fuck can, I remember oh, that one. The very first one I grabbed. Yeah, no, go one. fuck yourself. Just, I saw it. Why? Who did that? Yeah, that, that one's also frustrating, but that one's especially frustrating. <laughs> okay, four or five. Um, so, so normal dice have all the numbers facing generally in the same direction. Not that one. No, not that one at all. As, as you can see. Or one of two directions. That one has the numbers facing everywhere. Yeah. I, I think what they did was they formed it, and then they just decided, okay, what number is pointing up at this point? Okay, we're just gonna hard press it now. Yeah, fuck, fuck this dice. Yeah. Look, look, there's, there's a four. Uh-huh. There, there's, there's your three. Yeah, your three can go fuck itself. Three can go fuck itself. I don't know why I roll anymore. Those ones, Cause it's just the next three. Yeah. Well, what's the next three? There, there's a D20 at the same time. All right. No, take it away. Here we go. The next three Pokemon you encounter are... Electabuzz. Chargebug. Damn. Vanillish. The ice cream cone. And Toracat. <laughs> Why do you hurt me like this? <laughs> oh, I know, right? All right, gentlemen, let's get initiatives rolling. Which one are you going for, sir? Hello, sir. Which one are you going for? Give me a minute. I'm just gonna put into the fucking Pokedex right, the well. Pokemon that I'm. Okay, well, since you're you the want? you're the, you're the dark person, I'm gonna let you just have it. I'm gonna go for the charger bug because if you don't let me have the charger bug, I'm gonna strangle you. Have yeah, like, the ice cream cone? Yes. The best ice. The best ice cream cone. One of the best better ice types. Of it. And it was vanillish. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Vanilla light. But vanilla, vanilla, and vanilla. No, no, no this one's a, a this one's a big scoop. It's just the jumbo scoop. Yeah. Scoop. Yep. I just got a tip from my phone and it said, "Be more productive." <laughs> Fuck you, phone. You don't know me. <laughs> Damn. Phone, your phone is savage. Fuck you. Fuck you, phone. You don't know me. Wow! <laughs> Fuck you, phone indeed. Oh, yeah. <coughs> I'm sending out Choo Choo. Okay. Uh, initiatives, guys? Seven. 17. 21. 21? Wow. I rolled a natural 20. Don't say wow. <laughs> 20. Wow. Okay, and, and, um, the Blaza has, um, has Choo Choo, and Christian, who are you sending in? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Starting us off is Christian. Wow, well, I never would have guessed. Going with the 
the fairy wind. Oh, I almost forgot to mention. Okay. Poor cat is shiny. Wow. Okay. <laughs> So I'm just gonna useful. This is an interesting episode because we went completely out of order. I'm either last or I'm first. There's no in between for me. But today there's an in between. All right, Sylveon's move. I actually have zero fire. I have none. I have tons. I mean, I have zero now. I because you had Torchic. You traded it. I technically I don't want to give up one of mine, but like I have a Growlithe and a Vulpix. It's okay. What do my, you want all, my, all, my, all, my, all the fire type Pokemon I like are uh, 21 hits on Torricat, correct? Yeah. Also, well, is it dark yet? It hasn't I dropped a cinder. Well, no, That's it's still true. fire. It's still fire? It's just, it doesn't get dark until it's all. Already nine, reduced? Nine. Yes. Nine not very effective fairy damage. <laughs> I'll blaze you up. We're gonna stop this up with a flame wheel! Fairy. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Faster that way. Alright. Charge Bug's deck save is 15. That yeah. is. That is the DC. That's impressive. You must have rolled that and not a copy. You have a plus two to its dex. Really? Yeah. Why? Dex versus attack. Oh. Okay. Roll that bug. I know, but slow just means bad movement. Charge a bug. It's movement. It's You could just range attack it. Charge a bug is a little bus. Wow. No, it's a battery and they go ass to mouth. That was almost max damage, but that is. Oh, I take a Oricorio. Oricorio! 23 times 2 is 46. Super effective. Did you already reduce the initial damage because it saved? Oh, oh, then yeah, it, it, it would basically just be the 23 then. And that is a I can't do math. Twenty-five to hit for, mock, <laughs> for punch. mock punch. Yes. At first, I was like, "What are you doing?" And then I was like, "Wait a minute, he has bonus action mock punch. That's what he's doing." Are you gonna add yet? <laughs> you your, tell me what the shut your fucking is. mouth. <laughs> that's that's uh um sadly uh four. Fighting type damage. That resists, so it's only two fighting type damage. That's why I said it's sad. <laughs> All right, up next is Vincent. <gasps> I never would have played that. Nice. What's the DC? Ooh. Eighteen. This has a real good con save. I looked at it and I was just like, ooh. <laughs> oh, fuck. This is fun. Alrighty. And up next is Vanillish. And on Spaghetti, it is going to use Icicle Spear. It's the multi hit moves. <laughs> we know they're really effective on you. Well, not if it rolls that. This poor spaghetti. That's a 13 to hit? No. Yeah, so it just misses. Alright, up next is Torcat. Torcat. Firefang. On the Sylveon. Mm -hmm. Not if it rolls like that. 13 to hit. No. Just keep rolling 13s. Yeah. And up next is Charge Bug. Show me potato salad. No, show show me penis. And it's gonna use acrobatics. Oh. Yes. Oh, it you know what? That. You know what I would take? Clearly. Arvesta. That's the type I would take. But I think we would all want that. 
He yeah, really wants that. Because I, dude, like, I've been saying it since before the game started. I want a fucking Volcarona so bad. Oh, Anthony, looks like you drew the short straw. I rolled a 19 to hit. You <laughs> prick! <laughs> Today is an interesting these, day. These two <laughs> can't get hit for shit. Get, get a thirteen hit, and it's just like, oh. I listen. You, can, you can have, you can have the Hulk take a retro. Like I'm gonna give you the legendary Pokemon. <laughs> what do you take me for? I'm not gonna. You're not gonna gracious to me. I'm gonna take them. Gracious? Oh, try to butter me up, huh? A little. Fair. It's a good tactic. You can't stop it's not me. Very I'm going hard to take ball. them whether you want me to or not. Fuck you! <laughs> I will find Volcanion and make it mine. Also, Fire Dragon, and you think I won't want that? Uh, 38 hello. points of super effective fighting or flying type damage. Yeah, acrobat. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking mean. If you charge with not holding. I would be holding an item as well. Why don't Pokemon hold items? You could be holding a berry. Alright. Nothing else is a bonus action. So. Top of the order, Christian. Hey. As the first two Pokemon attempt to try to attack, they fizzle, but then Charge a Bug out of nowhere just like. <laughs> just jumps in the air on top of Monferno and just. Whoosh, I'm just standing in the background. I was not expecting that. And a bite. Got it. Eighteen. Eighteen hits. Thirteen dark damage. Thirteen damage taken. <laughs> I did the. You did it the fucking slow way. <laughs> Anything for a bonus action? No. All right. Up next is a Blaza as Sylveon goes and takes a bite out of Tora Cat, not out of crime. A Blaza. Not a dog. I know. <clears throat> I just, just every time I, I say take a bite, I want to say out of crime afterward. Okay. All right. A Blaza, you're up. Are you scared of the charge bug? I now? am a little now. <laughs> I, am, I am a little. Because there isn't a lot in my uh, arsenal that, that has a counter to that. I mean, like, technically, technically, I have one Pokemon that won't get hurt or fucked up, uh, but I don't want to risk it. Also, uh, it's, not <laughs> it's not time for the secret weapon. <laughs> we're gonna, We're gonna flame wheel again. All right, let's hope it doesn't roll high. Damn, 20. <laughs> roll high. Will you fucking stop? <laughs> it's time to stop. <laughs> I even set myself up for failure. I called it, but 20, I didn't even do it. 24 fire damage. It's already reduced because that's... Times two is 48 is. And now I'm punching with knock punch! Nope. Nope. 10. Yeah, that definitely doesn't hit. No. Yeah. Up next is Vincent as the flame wheel from Choo Choo engulfs the charger bug. And it's. It's not feeling too hot, but it. You can't tell with its eyes, but. It's probably pissed at you. What are you trying to say about my charger bug? Huh? Man. It's not your charger bug yet. Yeah. Hunter <laughs> Green. Okay. Not Giga Dream. Not yet. 18. 18 hits. Spirit. 
13. <laughs> 7. No, it's 13. <laughs> I thought we were just yelling numbers. <laughs> it's Torquette. Firefang. Are you fucking kidding me? Yes. 13! No. <laughs> now roll a 19. It's time for charge bug. Acrobatics. Natural point. 28. There was a it was a 19 on the dice though. Well thanks for listening to me then. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Your charger bug is fucking you up. Oh, okay. I rolled low on these first two numbers. Okay. It's only 20 super effective. Get the Fine. fuck out of here with it's only. That's pretty low for what? Act for 3d8 plus 4? Yeah. I rolled a 1, a 2, and a 5. I, I don't like that five. Oh, I did the math wrong. You Anyways, did do the math wrong. It's 24. It's a 20. There's that one. <laughs> this bug is ballsy as fuck. I need it even more. Very square. I must have this fucking Very, bug. Some would say it's bold. Someone would say this will soon become a Vicavolt and it will be my precious baby boy. Christian, top of the order. Vold is not in. No, we've got clumsy and stupid. I mean, uh, dumb or whatever. No, dumb, uh, dumb was replaced. Dumb was replaced. Was stupid? No. Uh, can't remember what it is, but dumb was replaced. <sighs> We're gonna buy it again. Most of the Dumb was replaced with innocent. Aww. Most of the fire type Pokemon in Pokemon are starters. Yeah. Kind of sad, actually. Another 18 to hit. That is. 18 hits. 14 dark damage. Come on. Keep your thing. You gotta type, you gotta type in the middle of it. Yeah, I did it, and I and I typed in the amount of HP, and then it just goes back to the same amount of HP that it was. So, so I was like, all right, let's do it the slow way then. So Sylveon takes another bite of Torracat, and it is a Blaze's turn. How's, Get me! How's Choo, Choo 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 looking? He's looking, uh... Kind of tore up. That's a natural 20. Go fuck yourself. It's mine. Oh, with, a, <laughs> with a great ball. Okay. All right, then. You, uh, afraid for Choo Choo's well-being. You just pull the great ball out and... And it goes... Hi, time So many critical you know catches. You know what's fucked up is when you get a critical catch in Pokemon, they still break Yes, I've had that happen in uh, in I've had that Sword. A lot. That that makes me very angry. All right, let me that get probably you that. happened to me a lot, but I'm too dumb to realize. Well, okay, so like your critical capture rate is based on how many Pokemon you caught, right? That's so many Pokemon. Caught so many Pokemon. I part of that I get critical captured like crazy, so they break out all the time. But most of the time, I'm just chugging quick balls. Yep. yep. That's what I'm doing too. That's just the best way to do it. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Here's the Pokedex information. Charge a bug, the battery Pokemon. Its body is capable of storing electricity. On camping trips, people are grateful to have one around. Fucking. Okay, just hold on. Let me just plug my charger bug in. Click. All right. Well, I know we're gonna be using for a while. So Walk off. make sure to add charge bug into your in I your, did. Okay, good. So it is male. It is brave. I know that doesn't necessarily help anything, but it's brave. It's pretty fucking obvious too. Um uh, it is level nine. 
its ability increases are three in dex, one in con. Its move set, because you only know acrobatics, uh, you didn't use anything else, but it's spark, bug bite, and vice grip with acrobatics. And its ability is battery, the only one it can have. I literally forgot what it is. Um, it works more in like double battles. Allies that activate electro type moves within 20 feet of this Pokemon double their damage dice. That is really strong. And if you're with, if you have an all electric team, it works out for you. All right. That's all the information that you need. Way better in the games then. All right. Now it is Vincent. Unless you want to use your bonus action to punch <coughs> one of these other Pokemon. In the first. You have two Pokemon in front of you. Only yeah, I could potentially in. kill either of them. No. No. I, no, I barely did it. Oh, okay, then, yeah. With I'll... Mach Punch's max damage output of eight, I don't think so. It's max damage is... Oh. Oh. With its max damage of 12, I doubt it. Times two on either of them. I did No, Torikat isn't weak. Torikat's fire. It's only fire type right now. Not Even dark. <laughs> I forget that sometimes they don't have the dual types all the way through. Yeah. So, okay. Well, in that case... Or it could be like Rowlet, where it's grass flying, and then when it gets to its final evolution, in that it's case, a ghost now. I'm going to mock punch the Torcat just to help Christian out a bit here, and that is a 17 to hit. That hits. <sighs> Tree! Not a cat. Yep. <laughs> you were worried about killing. Shut somebody. up! <laughs> Three fucking damage. <laughs> <laughs> this mock punch is sad now. Anthony, I could potentially kill one of them. Rolls a three. Close enough. Is it dead? <laughs> is it still alive? <laughs> this is up. Good job. Mega drain. One, two. That hits. Big suck you are giving it, yes. And after that, it is now Vanillish. I'll take it. No, it's gonna Avalanche. Oh, it's other move. At this point, I'm, I'm partially regretting not. Done it again, huh? 13! <laughs> Woo! No. I mean, I'm gonna get hit now. I'm gonna take Anthony's spot. Fire Fang rolls a natural 20. Crit, crit burned and flinched. Fire Fang. That's a 22 to hit. Told you. At least you're not crit burned and flinched. Somebody has to be hit <laughs> other than me. Somebody told me. Uh, who looked like a girlfriend? That I had in February? Um, that is 14 fire damage. Alright. Oh, nice is Christian. Bite it back. The, the Biting match. The duality of bite. Ah! 18. Yep. No, wait. 16. So, yep. Yeah. Mock punch the, the cat. Okay. That's a 16 to hit. Punch that pussy. Yeah, it was low hanging fruit. I had to. Sorry. Oh look, nine. Nine fighting type damage. Kill the cat. Okay. 
And then, yeah, um, from a distance. I just got 50 health and killed the guy. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not even close. Um, it's probably got like 30 left. Vanillish is not too far away and hasn't taken a lot of damage. 39 damage. 39? Okay. But you could kill it. I could potentially kill it, so let's Maybe. Just hopefully, with this ember, not do that. Uh, that's a 20 to hit. That hits. This oh, is... ember? No. Ember. Wow! You're only gonna roll uh, max damage and do 30. So, that's thir- nope, 19 times 2. 38. Did it's I kill fine. it? It's a second stage he, evolution. He, he, he's, not helping. he's doing math, so you didn't kill it. Otherwise, you'd just say you knocked it. Okay. Okay. It's also a second stage evolution, so it's probably got like 90. So, the fact that I'm not doing a lot of damage to the cat, I don't know. and I could potentially kill the ice cream, I might have to just walk away from this fight. Like, just me and Choo Choo are like, oh, we can't kill that, or we might kill that. I understand. Is it? Sleep. After a turn, one wake up. All right, it's Vanilla's turn. That is a nine. I wake up. All right, and it is Tora Cat. Fire thing. That's a one. Christian. That was wrong the whole time. What? My abilities? No. Uh, I still had Runaway from Eevee. Huh. Oh, because you manually added the other one? Yeah, no, my abilities do come. An adaptability. No. Zilveon does not get adaptability, it has one ability. I don't know. Probably oh, because that's the uh, Eevee ability. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Q charm. It only has I, Q charm. <laughs> I hit three. reset once, and it said it gave it took away Runaway and put Q charm, but kept adaptability. Interesting. But I had to hit reset twice. <laughs> okay, that makes more sense. Q charm, is, you know, if this thing is the opposite gender, Q charm probably does something. Yeah. Actually, no, just it closes the advantage. <laughs> Doesn't need it. <laughs> Keep losing anyways. Yeah, for a short rest, you can close this advantage. Oh. How's this cat looking? Looking, it's looking yes? Looking yes. It's looking yes. Okay. Looking yes. And I'll throw a great ball at yes. <laughs> Not a premier ball, it's white and red. Premier. Let's go to the box on. <laughs> oh, that's right, it's shiny. Good thing you threw a great ball. Did not catch it. That's uh. Ball works too. Your ball's still better. What about being better? Oh, in terms of. He's talking about aesthetically pleasing. You're right. Pleasing. You're right. Action You're right. Souls is most important. You're right. 14? No, not 14. Uh. 18. It's the Tora Cat. Chase once. Yeah. Watch this thing. I am proficient in animal handling. I know. All right, Ablaza. <clears throat> Punch. In the face. We're punching the face. Nope. We. Don't don't yeah, hit that's... don't hit the vanilla thing. Twenty six. Don't, don't don't hit it. Well, I think after the 38 damage he output, I don't think he's gonna touch it. Nine? It's asleep, just don't hit it. Catch it. Alrighty. 
follow it up with another flame wheel on the tour cat. Uh, don't? Uh, if you want. I'm a walk away. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only hint I'm giving you. And I walk away. I walk, I walk away. away. All right. It's like Tarka has like 20 health left. I'm gonna be off to the side, yeah, just like doing our, our friendship like handshake with Choo Choo. Like slap, yeah, slap, yeah, you're slap, right. um, pound, booty bump. Probably almost dead. You're correct. Great ball. Oh fuck. I caught it. You did. Impressive. Probably gonna catch it. 26. Shakes once. Shakes once. Shakes three times. 26 was the cash DC. I didn't even look at the cash DC, so when you just said like 26, I'm like, oh, I wonder what it is. Oh, fuck, it's that. It's that number. I think we'll, we'll beat the 43 cash DC then. Uh, I don't know. I might, I might have you beat it full health. The Nellish, the icy snow Pokemon. They cool down the surrounding air and create ice particles which they use to freeze their foes. This Vanillish is hardy. Level 9. Its abilities both go into constitution. Moveset is Astonish. Is it male or female? It is male. Astonish, Avalanche, Icy Wind, Icicle Spear. Its ability is Ice Body. That's a big rip. So... You, you can always just give it the hidden ability to give a snow warning. I have, snow warning is not the hidden ability. Oh, it's not? I have a it's weird question. Me, oh. Snow Cook becomes Snow Warning. I have, I have a weird question. That's a weird question. So, it's an ice cream. Yes. yes. It's hard. And it has a gender. Mm -hmm. Is the cone its dick? Don't know, but uh, Staryu doesn't have a gender. Actually, based off an actual. Well, yeah, that, that makes sense. I'm curious as to how. Uh, ice cream has a gender? Ice cream. Ice cream. Is it holding an item? It has. Does it doesn't have a never melting? Ice cream has a sex. I don't. I don't understand. It's like running into the floaty keys and saying, yeah, that's a fucking Pokemon. And all of a sudden you find out, oh, these keys, these keys are female. Fucking how? Oh, it's the right. same thing as, how does a, a, a man-made creation like a Magnemite or a Voltorb, how do they evolve? That's an upgrade. That's not evolution. That's just turning the ball over. That's a different form of it. Enhancing the size of it and giving it a mean face instead of a happy face. The Voltorb has the mean face. Magnemite evolves the same way that they would evolve. Where you just get together and now they're a new book. Yes. <laughs> That's a gathering. That's not a fucking evolution. No, it's an evolution. Also, Pikachu has hands, his fingers. Raichu loses those fingers. How is that an evolution? It's not about becoming more advanced. Yes, it is. That's what an evolution is. Right, well, I'm the only one left fighting, so can you roll a 13? Lick. Proceed. <laughs> did you roll a 13? Yes. <laughs> Yes, I did. <laughs> I don't know what that's the name. I'll, I'll throw a timer ball. And this is what, turn four? So it's a plus four, I believe. Turn five? Oh, it's turn five? Because he's at the top of the order. That's right, yeah. So it is effective. It is as effective as a great ball. Yep. Didn't help. Ever less. 
Tora Cat just <laughs> smacks it. All right, I didn't roll that one plus. Oh. Still slaps it. Call you a bitch. I rolled two less than last time. Still, still less. Still less. All right. Uh, I'm assuming you two are backing out of the fight. You are assuming incorrectly. Oh, are you gonna sleep I powder? Have sleep powder. That's a four. Oh, it's a fail. Or cat is asleep. You also, but you assume sleep correctly cat. with me. I am. Um, Still just hanging out with Choo Choo off in the side. Maybe I'll look for stuff. Fuck oh, it. That was, what did I find when I was looking for stuff last time? Oh, I forgot to tell you. Nothing. Fuck. All right, let's see if Tor Cat wakes up. That's a four, so no. Okay. All right, Christian, you can roll it with advantage now. It's yeah. plus six now. Yeah. All right, but not that one. That one's ugly. <gasps> it's orange. How fucking dare what you? Green. Orange is the ugly color. Should roll green. We we established this last time. Stop the it! Game, it's not an ugly color. Oh, finally. I know, right? Uh, twenty-nine. <laughs> Shakes once. Shakes twice. Shakes three times. Doom. <laughs> Torakan, the fire cat Pokemon. At its throat, it bears a bell of fire. The bell rings brightly whenever this Pokemon spits fire. Uh, it's shiny, male, brave. Level nine. Oh, that's right. Where is the ability at? Um. It, uh, the Hardy is. Really no, no, I remember. Oh, it increases its AC, I think. Yeah. Uh, its ability score, uh, Torquette's ability scores go one in strength, one in con. Move set is Lick, Fire Fang, Ember, and Double Kick. Oh, Double Kick. And its ability is Blaze. It would have, it would have used it if, uh, if it ever hit you. How much HP do you have right now? 78. Hold your head. Just check it. I'm gonna ask you that every time now. To double check that it's correct for me. Because you, uh, you, uh, had that issue? Yeah. Good bit, sir. Having 50. Alright. So you guys have caught your Pokemon and are now proceeding. What was I rolling to look around for stuff to find? Oh, uh, that would be perception. Okay, yeah. that's it. Uh, 25. Interesting. We found nothing. I hate you. I find a, I find a rock and I, I eat it We're on the beach, as far so as I found, can. You found, no, you found the some, Everstone! You found some sand. <laughs> Here you go, get some soft sand. That was a shiny wow. stone. Balls! <laughs> Wow, holy shit, that is some dark vision. Yes. What? 75 feet. So as you continue along the beach, and so we, found, we found nothing. Yeah, you guys didn't find anything. That's fair. Uh, you look ahead and you see somebody with uh, with the item finder. And you realize that they probably picked up anything that you could have found. Run up and punch him in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Beat him up and take his stuff? What did we just steal from him? He's got all the items. We're good, guys. Also, let's jump him for his stuff. You've got a disguise kit. You want a disguise kit? I don't have a disguise kit. I'm a barbarian, not a rogue. How did you... You Okay, but you had all that stuff for your, your favorite idol. <laughs> I spin around, transform into that gear. Call <laughs> out. I don't know what you're talking about. Just <laughs> the Wonder Woman twirl. No, it's not the Wonder Woman twirl. I just the mask. It's the mask. I just. I still want to do that. It's the Wonder Woman twirl. No, that will only come uh, in a specific gym. 
that I will probably go up against. The, the EXP did not make it. <coughs> no? No, I'm trying to set it to Okay, zero. so. But up ahead, you see another uh, security checkpoint. Why are there so many checkpoints? I don't know. I'm going to take this time for a little bit to train one of my Pokemon because we never did it. That's right. You guys haven't trained yet. So you guys are going, you can train now before you hit the gym. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to train. Wouldn't you train at the gym? I'm going to, you would think so. <laughs> I'm not going to train any of the Pokemon in my party, so there's no point in training right now. I will train my Curlio. Okay. What's Curlio's level currently? Was level 9. Okay. For like the longest time. And it is now level 10. So level 10. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> Are you training anybody, Christian? I mean, I do know who I want to train. They're going to give me Look in the daycare. <laughs> also, I don't. Gym. Clearly, it's really an impact mine. You're going to fall. I think you guys are going to be pleasantly surprised at what this gym is. Fire type. Fire type. No. no. Ice. Fire. Rock. Steel. No, I'm not. Normal. Fair. I'll wait. Ghost, no, we didn't go. Dark! There's, Dragon! There's someone, uh. There's. I don't there's, know what else we did. There's someone in my box that really needs training. Water. It could just still be water. It could just be the same. <laughs> it's just crashed away because he's old now. He's just like. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, gonna be, I'm gonna be waiting. Okay, so. A Blaze is the only one who did any training with his Curlia. So, did, did Choo Choo level up from that fight? Choo Choo just leveled up to 10, didn't he? No, he hasn't leveled up for a while now. Is he, le I, is he level I, 9? I, I, no, he's level 10. I occasionally throw him out into battles, but like you keep throwing me reasons not to throw him out. So he's not, he hasn't leveled up yet. I don't think any one of us have leveled up. Technically I have. One of my Pokemon is level 11. I just don't remember which. Constant bullshit. I'm saying bullshit too. I don't remember leveling any of the Pokemon. Electricable. Electric. Okay, electric. No, that that may be uh, correct because I think I was considering evolving one of my Pokemon. It evolves at level 15. Not evolving, but Fuck leveling off. up one of my Pokemon to level 11. Feel. Just because Gumi becomes Sligu at 12. I can't get Godzilla until level 16. With Pupitar, you mean? I can't hit Ultra Fighting Monkey until um, 14. Wait, Monferno evolves into Infern Infernape at level 14? All the yeah. starters evolve at 14. I thought they no. did it at 16. No. In no. the games, yeah, but not in this. Servine, Servine is 14, Torek at 13. Oh, okay, wow. They, they do vary, but uh, 14, I believe, is the cap. It must have been uh, my old uh, PDF. They probably updated the manual. Most likely. Because I do distinctly remember some of them evolved at uh, 16. 16. I remember, I, I remember looking at it and I was like, fuck, it takes so long. What evolved at level? Alright, so you guys head towards the security checkpoint after a blaze and finish his training with Curlia. Um, and you guys enter and the security guard goes, identification please. I've already had, <laughs> I'm walking up with the ID just. Uh... Okay, you can go through. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you guys can go through. Enjoy your time in Pastoria. Would you really be able to even stop Team Rocket if they shut up? Probably not. Security guards can just you exist. I don't even know. <laughs> oh my god, you made it sad. You did make it sad. Oh, I know what I'm training. This is an easy, easy, <laughs> easy train. I already know. Look at just like move, look at what movement gets at level. Just one. like the asshole. <laughs> he just makes somebody's cry and just goes like, "Oh, I know exactly who I'm training today," and just keeps walking, leaving this guy to his sadness. Yeah. What the fuck? That's our Vincent. That's our Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> One track mind. I only care about Pokemon battles. Rushing I just hands. realized, I, I I understand the the 
party dynamics here. I am the barbarian, the one that causes the most problems, the one that jumps headfirst into things without thinking it through, the one that's overly flashy and consistently getting everybody's attention. He's the rogue. He's the asshole that will say the shit that makes every NPC hate him or just be really fucking sad. He's also highly methodical and plans ahead for some shit. Even though he might fail and stumble in combat a lot, he still comes out on top, inevitably with strength. Fail and stumble? That's never happened once. He's the responsible. He's he's the responsible one. I mean, you've also run into several situations where you have a type disadvantage and several of your Pokemon fall in combat. He's the responsible one. You could call him the cleric, the sorcerer, or the wizard. But basically, he's the responsible one. The one that doesn't cause problems, doesn't rock the boat or anything like that. And he this tends man had to three dark types against a ghost type gym, and it took him several hours to win. We all have our That's bumpy days. Fault. We all have our bumpy days. That's it's all not I got. my fault. I fucking I kept falling asleep. The sleep strap. But yeah, the barbarian, the rogue, and the caster. That's basically what we are. Right now, you're right dead last on the badass leaderboard. It's behind my grandma. Who oh, gunned someone to death. It took several hours! So you guys enter into Pastoria, and what you can tell is that very nature-filled town, mostly because you have the the Great Marsh slash Safari Zone, you have, with the Pokemon Nature Preserve and all that. Yep. Very lush, very beautiful, very green. Oh. Um. Oddly, because it is close to a beach, it's it doesn't seem tropical at all. There's pine trees everywhere. Even though it's like super close to the beach. <laughs> but that's just how it is. Go to Europe and see how uh, 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 how much you're questioning this. Let's not. It's fine. He only knows California where palm trees are everywhere. Yeah, but that's <laughs> I've been to Europe. You've been to Italy and or France. I went to France. You went to France. How many beaches can you count in France? In like half the country. Of the I didn't. I didn't. That's go. actually very true. But I didn't go to the beaches. Yeah. But now, now go further up north, where there are lots of beaches still. Anyways, so it's not that weird. There is the uh, there is the nature preserve slash safari zone on your right, and then the Pokemon Center is dead ahead. You guys want to stop at the Pokemon Center and. There seems to be a bit of a commotion in front of the Pokemon Center. I'm going to the Pokemon Center because I need to heal up my friends. Okay, before you enter the Pokemon Center, there seems to be a crowd gathered and they are watching a young woman performing on the street. And uh, she, is, she has a bunch of uh, birds, bird Pokemon flying around and just uh, doing aerial maneuvers and just like a sky show. I can make this much fetch like. <laughs> Yeah. He's a firebird. Uh, they didn't have a fletch. And she is just, they she's just commanding these oh, bird Pokemon fletch. with precision, having them go through uh, rings and uh, tossing stuff up, almost like a falconer would. So she commands them similar to like a like Are a falconer. Are you saying she's a bird trainer? Yes. Never would guess. I just realized what you were looking for. Yeah, I don't know how. I don't know what happened to it. Fine. I will find it. You passed me a cactus cooler. Me too. Thank you, sir. Oh, am I a magician? What? What are you looking for? The eraser to the pencil. (laughs) I'm gonna go through the crowd, making copies, out of my way, I'm gay. (laughs) <laughs> Ooh, well, I'm gay. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm just gonna make my way to the crowd and float once I'm making my way downtown. <laughs> yeah, somebody had to do it. Amber's not here. What the fuck? <sighs> so. You need to use an eraser? No, I just want to find it. another pencil here. <laughs> I mean, it still works as a pencil. Anyway, I don't know. 
Okay, we're just gonna ignore this lady's show. No, no, we're gonna come back after the other Pokemon. So you enter the Pokemon Center, and just like every other Pokemon Center before it, and probably every Pokemon Center after it, there's Nurse Joy. That's what we're here for. <laughs> That's what you're here for. Hello, how can I help you? I have to heal just our Pokemon. slide my balls at her. That's gross. Phrasing. Not <laughs> phrasing. You're not doing phrasing anymore. Pokeballs! Sliding my Pokeballs oh, out. that's not gross, then. You know what we're here for. Of course. And she takes your takes your Pokemon. You know my and she puts them in the machine. Bing, bing, boom, bing, boom. There, your Pokemon are fighting fit. Thanks. Oh. We hope to see you again. Do it on one, it does it to all. Yeah. Dope. I'm gonna pull out my Boothalon. All right. Um, and Nurse Joy mentions, did you uh, did you see the show on your way in? I'm just. It's I, not I, I'm like I, she's. I'm halfway up, like getting on the back of Wufa. I'm like. <laughs> we saw a little. Looking right up at you. We are in a Pokemon Center. The doors are very large. <sighs> Fair. Well, I, if you if you haven't seen much, I I consider staying for the whole show. Our Wendy is very very talented. Is she here? Uh, yes. I've made a very good decision. <laughs> <laughs> I chose. Do you know what move? Poorly. Is a level ten. What? Head smash. Smash. <laughs> <laughs> it's like. <laughs> so this gym that we're choice. about to go up against is a have? fucking a flying Cuba type gym. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I'm also not quite okay. Most of my Pokemon are fighting types, you sick fuck. Now I've got to rethink but I'm going straight to the PC and I'm looking at it going, I've got a Pokemon for you if you'd like to Who am I going to use? Who am I going to use? Would you like to trade you uh, the, the boulder? The boulder? If I had my Aaron. Level seven. Rock placed. Or I can. Oh, or would you like an Electabuzz? Level eight. That actually. Oh. Uh, if only Electivire was electric. Okay. Okay. You're still good. You're fine. If only Electivire was fast. That's the real. It was fast. Why are you complaining? You just caught a charge of us. Mm -hmm. No, I know, I know, I know, but I'm gonna have to. I have to switch out. I have no choice in this matter. I have to switch out. Um, my my Toxicroak, and that upsets me. I'm so excited for this gym. It literally loses ten base. All right, I'm going to the. Okay. No, and I'm it gonna... loses a good ability in static. I'm gonna, <laughs> motor drive. I'm gonna switch out. Horak for... Muddy horse, muddy horse. Not Toracat. Uh, you know what? I actually, I'm gonna have to also switch. Mm, well. And I'm gonna trick. Flying types are not weak to steel, are they? No, no but steel resists. I know, that's why Lucario is okay, but most of his moves are... Fucking fighting! I've got I've got plenty of options if you want. I've got the boulder, I've got a the dude, I got buds, Boltic. Not that not that mud bray is gonna help me at all in this gym, but I should really Cause then you could ride on it. Yeah. As I finally finished getting all the way on Buffalo. Grabbing <sighs> by the afro. I mean I could metal claw and quick a quick attack the shit out of the birds. Well already. you gotta be able to reach them. That's true. Okay, well, let's see <laughs> uh, what yeah. pack. 
Hello there. Pressure's level 2 to Undershock is a ranged attack. A shockwave. All right. While he's doing that, I'm trading pain shockwave. Okay. So you, uh, you head out the back door of the Pokemon Center to yes. the the training field, or the battlefield. Uh-huh. And uh, you train Mudbray. Mudbray is level 9. No, I'm saying it's already level 9. No, it's oh, level 7. It's level 7? Oh, okay. What would uh, it be a Mudbray? It is, uh, it goes up to level 8 and then 9, because most of your team is level 10, isn't it? Uh, everyone on my team is level 10 except for Sylveon and, uh, Okay. Unless Sylveon leveled up. Uh, Sylveon did level up. Okay, then everyone's level 10 except for Sylveon. Okay. So, Mudbray goes to level 8, which I mean, which I think means it evolves. Yes. So, Shine begins to overtake Mudbray, and it grows twice, three times its size, and ding! It is now a Mudsdale, and it is level 9. I'm gonna have a tough decision. Do I bring Pokemon for a head snap? Oh, uh, what level is it? Nine. It's ten. Do I bring Bufon for head smash, or do I bring Megalodon for proper type damage? Just looking at everybody's faces right now. The... The strategizing. Yes, I made up that word. Yes, you did. You did. Trying to figure out how they're going to beat. I have a move that never misses. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, this is probably going to be really easy for you. I would for it. I would also I would love to see you try to kill my people. <laughs> At my level eight people. The chart. only one, the only one that is extremely <laughs> worried. That's true. Swan would be the scariest thing in there. It's not even the only like water flying type that exists because it's Pelipper too. Pelipper. Pelipper doesn't exist. <laughs> Pelipper doesn't exist in my world. It's also Tropius. Unless it gets, uh, unless it has Drizzle Hurricane. Or Skarmory. Skarmory would be sick. Skarmory would uh, suck. Uh, grass, you know this is Grass Flying? Dartrix. Oh fuck, that's true too! Yep. <laughs> Which gen was, uh, uh, Flood Ginger from? Gen, gen 2? 6. Fletchinder? Jim or Jen? Jen. Jen, okay, Jen 6. I heard Jim. Like, which Jim did I use this for? Oh, fuck. I, I don't know. Should I get rid of Rage? Or should, no, because Rage is so good, because it's a bonus action. But then, should I get rid of Pursuit? Or Revenge? Fuck Pursuit. But like... Do you know why I say fuck Pursuit? But like, then I have no way to hit Ghost type for people. Oh, okay, that's true. But then I could just really... Like, yeah, but... You're never. Rico doesn't switch out. I could just. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I have switched. I've had Pursuit for like ever, <laughs> and you've not once switched out against me. You only switch out against Anthony. Because fuck Anthony, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very true statement. Oh, the fucking conundrum. I need to look. Let me see if I want to give my first. Do I, do I give, do I give my mud brain my Master? Isn't it? That, uh... It's great weapon master. <laughs> I'm ready. To do something else. Guess we'll go watch the show. All right. While you guys contemplate finding out this new information that the woman outside performing... Oh, I, what the fuck? It was sitting on me! <laughs> Where did it come from? It was... It was oh, what the, the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I moved so much and it never fell off. But as you contemplate your strategies on what to do next, you head outside and watch the show that Wendy is putting on for everybody. Watching her different bird Pokemon, you see um, you see Pidgeot, you see 
you see a bunch of other uh, bird type Pokemon. You see some Trumbeaks. You also see you see um, Taillo, Swell, uh, uh, some Swallow. You see um, Fletchenders, and then you see one Talonflame come on in. They, she has all these bird Pokemon just flying all about. And her so show... I am not scared yet. Her show concludes. And then you hear her go, Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you so much. And she looks out and she sees the three of you. Cam is me. Back of a buffalo. Oh! Pokemon trainers. She what gave that away? She walks up to the the three of you. Hi, my name is Wendy. Like the wind. <laughs> I made that face when she did that. Just she blow a kiss at you? No, she breathed on us. Wow, this is technically bad. a flying type Pokemon. <laughs> What? Gyarados? <laughs> I'm gonna have one as soon as we get back to uh, whatever the. I need to go to the I need to go to the daycare too. There's someone there that I want. Yeah, uh, I wish I could grab my Lyron right you about now. You can have now. a jump club. That's terrible. A Deli Bird? Deli Bird fucks you up. Mantine? Mantine. I forget Mantine flies. <laughs> I forget it actually fucking flies. Uh, so, I am quite upset control. at this moment. Because strategy-wise, I have to legitimately think about what I can actually use in this upcoming fight. And I cannot benefit from my actual chosen class specifications because of this now. And I blame you. Cool. <clears throat> Anyways. Hi, Wendy. Nice to meet you. We are, yes, Pokemon trainers. That's wonderful. Are you here to challenge my gym? Yeah. But I'm glad we don't have to jump through hoops like that. We had to jump through hoops? Through where? Ooh. Very special place. Oh, that sounds, that sounds terrible. Have you ever known depression to be good? Depends on who you ask. Okay. Anyways, yes, we are here to challenge the gym. And there is the Pokemart. I need to make some um, purchases. Oh, the Pokemart is just down the street right here. Uh, when would you like to challenge? In about an hour or so? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready to go right now. Okay. I'm going to challenge the it's gym. It's about midday. Okay. The city never sleeps. Um, I would say in about an hour, I'd like to go uh, make some purchases before we get underway. All right, your friends seem like they're ready to go right now, so uh, if you want to go make your purchases, unless you want to wait to see your friends. I mean, they can go to the gym with you, and I can just rush over to the mart, and then I will rush right back. Okay, that sounds wonderful. Okay, cool. So basically, we'll get... To I just want to uh, run over to the mart. Uh, now I'm very upset we didn't go back and buy Thunderbolt. And I slide over. <laughs> what do you got for sale? Uh, Pokeballs, Hit. balls. Yep. Uh, some Quick Balls. Uh, a, a potion, Super Potion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I also have Hyper Potions for sale. You got any TMs? To TM, uh, let, me, let me check my back. I, I don't normally sell those, but I did just get a shipment in, so. He goes back and uh, you're here. Any specific DM you're looking for? Oh god, let me, let me go through the list. That yeah, could make his search a little bit more expensive. Oh, you didn't do level 10, did you? No. Oh, no. I know. Well, I don't think we went to any rock to level 10. Shit, I... Right past the TM list. You're not gonna... No. No, I have to go to the Pokemon Center and change up my whole team. Why? 
I mean, I just wanted to level up. Flying type right. kind of fucks him up, that's it. <laughs> Flying type fucks me up as well. It's not as badly as it fucks up him. Well, yeah, because most of his Pokemon are also fighting type. Yeah. You know what other Pokemon I have that are fighting type? Besides Pangoro. Pangoro. You know who I use for almost every gym battle? Pangoro. Pangoro. <laughs> So, uh, Mudsdale goes away. Mudsdale's going to the PC. Uh, yeah, I think Servine's going to the PC. <laughs> does Frogadier have Bubble? Yes. It does. Frogadier's coming with that's it. That's a good choice. Bubble, Bubble Strat! <laughs> uh, Strat's coming with me. What are their levels? Are they level 9 still? Uh, Frogadier? Frogadier's level 9. Pupitar's level 8. Pupitar is still strong. Pupitar was strong at level 8. It has 100 <laughs> HP. And a life orb. Rock slide. <laughs> yeah, and rock slide. And sandstorm. I'm looking for TM 13 and 24, primarily. And ice beam. Oh, did you bring Celio and Charge Bug with you? He's like, wait a second! Ah! <laughs> like, not that smart. Kinda it's smart. really funny how it's just like flying. Yeah, yeah, Celio. Like, <laughs> That's why I was like, I need to go back to the daycare. I need Spino. Why do you think I don't give a shit about having a uh, fire type? I don't need it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ah! Spino would be so useful. That wouldn't, huh? Well, well Charging Bug is still, I mean, electric resists resist flying, I believe. Yeah. So, so, it only makes the damage neutral. So, so having an electric bug isn't a bad talent plan. Pterodactyl. Fuck. No, no, no. I, I have. I just. I'm realizing Celio would be a great fucking addition to my team, but like, oh do I she want to eliminate one prize. of what I've already brought she in? Has a Pidgeot. <gasps> to be honest, we would deserve. It. If you guys <laughs> lost. No. Well, I'm just saying if she. this TM 80 he's got the mud stale suit nope TM 9 nope I essentially gave you 13 just because it was funny that I rolled a 13 Normally, this mark doesn't sell TMs. Okay. I suppose I will take. He uh, he goes. Uh, I just got this one. Uh, so of light blue, it says thirteen on it. I'll take that one. All right. This one will be uh, uh, ten thousand Pokemon dollars. Wow. Why is it ten thousand? It's my only TM. Such. I really need the money. I was gonna buy a bunch of other stuff too. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll still sell you that. that. Tell, tell you what, what, I'll give, give you everything else for half price. Okay. As, as long as it's within reason, you can't buy the whole store. Five great balls, five uh, quick balls, three super potions, and two hyper potions. We'll, we'll call it 4,000 for that. Okay, so 14,000. First that's quick balls? Yes. yes. Oh, but like we're fighting teams with like DC, at least. I'll like, take his entire stock. Kind of, like base. I'll, I'll take your entire stock. stock. The real one I want is. 
Hyper balls. Those are a thing. Hyper, Hyper balls are a thing? Yeah, look at the look at the Pokeballs. balls. Split it right after Ultra Balls. They're plus money. Oh, so they're not Mega Balls, they're Hyper Balls. Yeah. They, they must have just added that, because that, that was not in there before. Yeah, yeah that, that was, was not in there before. No, it wasn't. Holy, Holy crap. crap, and they're 2400 per ball. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that's fucking awesome. awesome. They're double I mean, and ultra ball. We're, we're rich, so I'm... All right, so you purchase all your all your items and a TM, and you rush over to the uh, Pokemon Center to, yes. and ch to add charge bug to your team. Oh, we need heavy ball. And then after you switch out your team, you head over to the gym. Yes. You could really In the meantime, while the Blaze is doing that, you guys follow Wendy to her gym. I get to go first. I went last You're last time. You can totally go first. And as you enter, there it's a uh, it's a very open concept gym. Oh, I never would have guessed. Um, instead of having a roof, she had what she did. She took out the roof, and it is now kind of like an atrium, but it has a it has an open open roof. So like all, all like an arena. Yeah, I fucking really. But it has like it has like a partial dome going up, but it's open, but it's like a half dome, so it's open on the top. <laughs> and she goes, "Welcome to my gym. I'm just gonna go ahead and announce to everybody that uh that we'll be having a gym challenge today. So just give it a moment. And uh, who would like to go first? Ah, uh, yes. And your name is Vincent. Vincent. Valentine. I mean, what? <laughs> <Valentine>. <laughs> Well, Vincent, uh, just give us just a few moments, and then you can compete for your Sky Badge. Okay. I got a I mean, If you bred, yeah. Not that it matters, <laughs> because it learns it normally anyway. Yeah. Because that's what it uses, <laughs> it uses to evolve into Mammoth Swine. Yes, yes, that's what Tangle all. Um... Fucking ball. Hello, Link. She uh, goes to a an intercom system, and she hits a button, and she goes, "Attention, citizens of Pastoria, we will be having a gym challenge in just a moment. Uh, please make your way to the gym if you wish to watch me compete against the challengers. Um, please come as soon as you're ready. Thank you." A blaze you hear this as you're rushing over to the Pokemon Center. <laughs> <laughs> and then you rush back to the gym. Yeah. It's only level three, but I forgot I had it. But you rush as a blaze as you rush into the gym, people are starting to file in and seats are being filled and you see Vincent standing uh in the arena. You assume that he is going first. Uh, you find Christian in the crowd, and as soon as everybody takes their seats, uh, Wendy says, Welcome, fair Pastorians, to our gym, where our three challengers will compete to win the Sky Badge. They all cheer. Yeah! Now, referee, if you would. Referee Bill is just standing there, and he's got uh, a wing hat. And it's just like, it's a, just a hat and it has just wings on it. And he's just like, thank you, Wendy. Welcome everyone to the Pastoria City Gym, where our three trainers will compete for the Sky Badge, starting off with Vincent. Now, the rules of this gym are far different than any of the gyms that we, that you boys have seen before. Now. The way this works is this will be a triple battle. You will send out three Pokemon at once, and all of your Pokemon will fight against Gym Leader Windy's three Pokemon. Oh. All right. I will let you have some time to consider your options, Vincent. It uh, changes. It uh, changes. I finally get up to uh, to Christian in the, the seats. I just, I, I, I'm so mad right now because of what we're up against. I had to, whoo, shit. Oh, I ran. Uh, 
I had to leave a lot of my goodest boys. You okay? No. We we both had we both had. <laughs> this is what I'm going. To what was this shit about? Three on one, three on three. Three on three. Three on okay. Oh, that doesn't change my strategy much. Lucky you. Are you rolling with Pokemon she's ringing? Yes. I'm bringing the dawn and the pond. Okay. Six Frogadier. I, I love how only one of them has a nickname. And it's just Megalodon, Magneton, Gliscor. One not, of these things is not really like the others. I don't really have a nickname for, for like Gliscor. For the clamps. <laughs> Magneton can just be Magneton. Because he's the boss? Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. My 12? Yes. Playing a. How old are we? 13? 14. 14. I'm playing a 14. But I still stick to the boss. <laughs> and Christian, which three Pokemon, oh. are, you, which three Pokemon are you bringing? Uh -huh. They nerfed Sturdy. Oh, they did? Yeah. I don't know. You should name him Clampazo. Clampazo? Yeah, that's the clamp bot from uh, <laughs> Futurama. <laughs> I'm giving the clamps! <laughs> All right, so your um, your three Pokemon are once again uh, Garchomp. Garchomp. It's a Garchomp, just trust me. Gabite, Magneton, and. Okay. I'm, you know, hedging my bets that the odds of her having a Delibird low. That's, that's a very good question. She's not all, she's also not the sixth, she's the fifth. Oh, we're only on the fifth? Yeah, yeah. we've had this conversation last week. Oh, fuck. I completely, I didn't We, we had this yet. conversation last week. We were yeah. wondering about it. Because Ian was oh, like, yeah, Ian was like, who is the Because the sixth gym leader is way the fuck is off to one side. Doesn't make any sense. Rourke is just way the fuck over here. Oh, you mean Byron? Byron, Byron. Yeah, yeah, and Canalave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, we had that conversation. I we were forgot. like, who is it? I literally forgot. He's a forgettable gym leader. Yeah, he's very forgettable. All right. So, how are we doing this? You're going to roll three initiatives. Okay. Uh, but before that, let me just get some extra dice out so I can have three different D20s. Oh, Am I using my, my initiative bonus? Uh, their dex bonus. Well, actually, no, you can use your initiative bonus. <laughs> this is better. Actually, yes, it's a triple battle. Use their dex bonus, because that's how I'm going to do it first. Uh, referee Bill calls out, Challenger Vincent, are you ready? Yeah, I'm born ready. Gym Leader Wendy, are you ready? Yes, Referee Bill. Then let the battle commence! And now we roll initiatives. Oh, dear lord. All right. Uh, go ahead and give me your numbers. Uh, Gabite is a 16. Okay. Magnus, 22. Okay. I score. Sorry, it just requires a couple. Um, Gabite was 16. 16, and who was 18? Until they die. I have a team now. So you send you send out your three Pokemon, and they all come out. And she has palms all three of the of the balls in her hand, and then as she masterful with some balls. And as she throws them, she hits the button and throws them out. Go, Aerodactyl, Altaria. And hunch crow. Okay, I'm not. I'm not that scared. We're okay. We're okay. I want the dragon one. Not him. Altaria. Oh, Altaria is. No, I thought he was dumb. Talking about it was Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl. <laughs> this is fine. And starting us off is Altaria. Altaria is also not a dragon. A cloud. 
I understand. <laughs> in the game, it is a dragon type. Why it is a dragon type okay. and Charizard okay. is not okay. is no, annoying. It's, it goes normal flying dragon, flying dragon fairy. Ah. Mega dragon fairy. It's the dragon fairy we got instead of fairy. Dragon fairy. Yes. Oh, okay, yeah, sure. Just break the fucking game. Altaria is going to uh, start us off and fly towards um, towards your team and dragon breath within a 40-foot cone, mm-hmm. and that's hitting all of all three of your Pokemon. Uh, you have to make a dex save. Oh. 17. That's a natural 20 on Megalith. 18 for Magneton. Oh, actually, it's more than 18. That 19. Uh, okay, so they all save, so they're only taking half of this damage. So, half of 22, which makes it 11, double for Megalodon because it's dragon type move. So, Megalodon takes 22, the other take 11. And then up next is Magneton. <laughs> uh, how close are all or her Pokemon to you? Uh, Altaria is in front of the three of your Pokemon, and the other two are within uh, 10 feet of each other. 15 feet, sorry. Try attack. 30 foot cone. Okay. Next save. Alright, well, Aerodactyl failed. Honchkrow succeeded. How do you know? Because Honchkrow rolled a natural 20. <laughs> then they succeeded. And Altaria rolled a 22. What did uh, the Aerodactyl roll? A 1. Okay, it's getting a status effect. Okay. So, first let me roll damage. We're not counting that one. We're pretending we're not. Should have counted it, I guess. Okay, that's 15 almost type damage. This, but failed. So Aerodactyl one takes eight. It is paralyzed. Yeah, well. So 15 was already reduced? 15 is the normal. That's how that gave the 46. Oh, okay. Eight. Yeah, it's 8. 7 and a half. What about the ones that succeeded? They take half of 15. Oh, okay. They all take half. I was just trying to. Hopefully they would fail so I get that status effect on. Okay. Up next is Aerodactyl. Mm-hmm. And it is going to use moves at half speed. 100. No, it's only 40. So it moves half speed, so it only moves 20. So it's going to fly 20 feet into the air and then, um, well, actually 20 feet towards uh, Magneton. Probably like 10 feet in the air. Um, and it is going to supersonic. Okay. Wisdom saving throw for Magneton. One. Magneton is confused. For four turns. And up next is Gliscor. Ice Fang. Okay. That's a 20. That definitely hits. Twelve. 
14 battle map. 19, so 28. Have the other one. Altaria taking a massive hit from the Ice Fang. Uh, up next is Megalodon. Dance. Okay. And that just goes. Mm -hmm. 100 foot range. Yep, it engulfs. The Sandstorm engulfs the entire battlefield. Non rock, steel, or ground. Creature enters the area for the first time on their turn. Or... Okay. And we already discussed what it was. It's five, but then for flying types, it's <coughs> ten. Yeah. Um, up next, is, unless Gab, uh, Gabite has a bonus action. No. <laughs> Shit. Amazing. Bonus action, you. Actually, it used to be a bonus action to and street. Not just... Honchcrow is going to take ten damage. Take ten damage to start. And is going to fly at um, at Megalodon and Night Slash. That is a modified 20 to hit. That's 24 uh, dark type damage. And back to the top of the order uh, is Altaria. Which Altaria takes. Yep, 10 rocks of damage. <laughs> I know, right? And Altaria is going to use Disarming Voice. Okay. That just hits, right? Yeah, yeah, that just hits. Cool. And it's a 20 foot radius. So. Oh, a single target? Any creature in range that can. Oh, hear you're it. right, you're right, because I've done that. No, you're right. That, that's right, because that's my strategy. <laughs> so, um, I believe, because Magneton hasn't moved, Magneton gets hit, Glyscore gets hit, and Megalodon gets hit. I, I mean, you're the one who has the, the, the map in your brain, so it's, uh, it's on you. Yeah, sorry, I need to I need to start constructing maps for these. The, I mean, you don't have to construct maps. Like, when you send when you send out your Pokemon in a triple battle, I would, I'd say the like literally like square next to each other mm -hmm. generally when they start so that you they're within a 15 foot radius yes real quick what were the four I'm moves that the game right um, now, by the way that the, the, the bug had <laughs> asking me to do no, what, what, is, what is he what do you want he's asking what i his forgot charge a bug had he forgot moves yeah because I, I feel like one of the moves that's that spark that's bug bite bug acrobatics bite. Spark and vice grip. Vice grip. All right. Um, so all three of them are getting hit with this uh, seven fairy type damage, double for Megalodon. Ouch. For Megalodon. doesn't get stab on it. It's literally 1d12. Yeah. <sighs> All right, it is Magneton's turn. <laughs> As Altaria lets out, Altaria! Oh, 
they, they, they nerfed confusion. On a roll of 16 or higher, the status ends immediately. Ooh. Yeah, confusion was pretty broken. Uh, we break through confusion. We're going for spark. Did you break through as in like... No, I only rolled 12. Oh, okay. Are so. you bringing to me? What do we... What do we think? You know, we'll, we'll just battle now so we don't miss. Does a 19 hit? 19 does hit. I was just... I was worried a 17. Got some botches. No. You want to trap your breath? No. It would be the best fucking thing for this. But no. No, I didn't bring the goodie. Three, six. An office in a bubble. Yes. Oh, no. I brought something with bubble. Okay. Um, I feel like Gumi might have been there. 25 of your language. That's our uh, double? Neutral. Oh, you're right. You're right. I have a feeling you're bringing the same thing I'm bringing. Probably. <laughs> There's a very good possibility of that. <laughs> All right. Up next is Aerodactyl. Mm-hmm. And it is going to use Iron Head on Magnetop. Natural 20. Uh, Madness and flinches. Thirty-three steel type damage. So then it would be. Oh, yeah, because he's also electricity, so that makes sense. Be steel and electric both resist. Technically, oh, oh. I should four times resist, but that's not a thing. <laughs> steel resists steel. steel. Yes. That's right. Also, Aerodactyl takes ten rock type. Weak to rock, yes. Aerodactyl is weak to rock? Rock doesn't resist rock. rock doesn't... Yeah, it's, it's a wow. weird... It's a weird... But... The, yeah, yeah. Here's the no, 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 but here's the thing though. He's a rock type, so he's unaffected by the. Oh, it, you're right. Yeah. I forgot. He's unaffected by. It. Oh yeah. But yeah, another one but that doesn't also, make sense is that rock doesn't um, his bugs. So that means because that was that wasn't even um, that was just double for the crit, so seventeen total with, 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 with resistance because it was thirty three. I said of oh, seventeen, but still flinched. All right, up next is... Oh, wait, it's paralyzed. Oh, yeah, let's see if it goes through. It does. Okay, who's next? We're not bringing the same Pokemon anymore. Huh? So we're not going to bring the same Pokemon anymore. Ice Core's just going to do it for Ice Fang on... Altaria? On Altaria. I have a revelation. Quickly run out. Uh, I do the exact same thing. Twenty total. (laughs) Twenty total hits. Yes. We all have revelations and leave. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, Vincent's got this. (laughs) He doesn't need our moral support. Battle dice. Yes. <laughs> How could I not bring him? He is my trump card. Gumi. Well, you want to deal with Artara, so there's that. Yeah, that's kind of bullshit. You know, give me the advantage. Here's the way I want you to go get. Of course my you would. Sir. You fucking would. Goddamn other Terminator. Right, it is uh, Megalodon's turn now. No, th- th- these are the Megalodon's ones that I, that I I'm um, bringing to the fight. 
Okay. Dual chop. Well, dual chop? I, I, I know, but it... I, I haven't fully decided which oh, okay. of the four. First one's a 21. The Three of them, two of them are, are pretty much spoken for. 26? Uh, yep. Oh, it's 2d8 now. How could you not? Yeah. I needed this. I really need to turn out my... Um, on the first one. <laughs> my fletchling? Because uh, it, it, it do you want to target somebody else yeah. with uh, the because second shot? Did you do that? Did it KO it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Then yeah, Just we're going like, to hit uh, back with the second shot. Okay. Charges. So the first shot comes in, Altaria just... <laughs> and get this <laughs> fucking shit out of my face. Altaria is unable to battle. Altaria has been eliminated. And well, then Eric will... the attack or just go with the first one? Uh... <laughs> Just go with the first one. I don't think it really matters. It has a really high damage, or how high to hit yeah. modifier. And for your information, seventeen was Altaria's AC. <laughs> I say I was worried. Eight, nineteen. I rolled for eight, nineteen, twelve. Nineteen dragon type damage. Dactyl. Would you like to try now? What what is the ground made out of? Ground? Dirt? Yeah. Okay. Gabbard's yeah, gonna burrow under the ground where it can't be hit. <laughs> okay. Where it can concentrate on sand. So this is how this this is how this goes now. You you came at me with an aerodactyl, a haunch crone altar. This is what happens. Vincent put his serious glasses on. <laughs> so it is uh is Gabite just gonna stay there for the whole battle? Until it's turn. It has tremor sense, so if any of these Pokemon land on them. Okay. <laughs> it's Hodge's <laughs> turn. It's 10 rock type damage. Um. Honchkrow is going to knife slash the uh, Gliscor. Okay. So that is a 19 on the die, which means it's a crit. And Thirty-five dark type damage. Up next, back to the top of the order, Magneton. All right, Magneton is going to try Air Shock. Dactyl. First confusion. No. Hits itself. Yes. All right. Is Aerodactyl. And it is going to Ancient Power Glide Score. Okay. And Ground Resist Rock, correct? Yes. Has a modified 20 to hit? Yes. Twenty-seven rock type damage. Okay. Yes. Bang. Punch crow. Punch crow's gonna use sucker punch. That is a twenty-seven to hit. Yeah. Eight. 
18 dark type damage. Anthony doesn't like me right now. No. How dare you? Uh, that's 20 to hit. That does hit. We go back to our go back to training the fire Pokemon. <laughs> okay, these are three fours so far. If it was just fire Pokemon, yeah, yeah, I'm right. not having much of a problem. 16, last battle night. <laughs> 26. <laughs> Whatever, You're doubles. just all kinds 52. of 52. Yeah, there you go. 52 super effective ice type. <laughs> like, I had to pick types to really hold grass. These things need to die. Alright, uh, up next is Megalodon. Did any? No. Pour it down the hole. I can have it. I can have it come to me and pop up and then heal it and then have it go back in. Actually, yeah. you know what? Fuck it. Can I superpose on something else on its turn? I'll only it. Um, I would say only stuff that that is uh that currently revolves around it. So you're gonna have it burrow up to you and mm -hmm. heal it. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's and the then... superpose? We ask this every time. Yeah, we always. 3d6 plus 6? Yeah, 3d6 plus 6. Yeah. Five. Ten. Shows how often you guys heal, because you have to ask him. I mean, I remember. He does remember. I remember so much that I think it's a superior potion. <laughs> okay. Or no, a greater potion. And back underground he goes. How long does uh, Sandstorm last? Five right? rounds. Oh, five yeah. rounds? Okay. This is round three, so... Yeah. Um... So up next is Honchkrow. Ten rock type damage. And Night Slash the Glyscore. One dark type damage. Hold the yeah, that knocks it out. Glide score is unable to battle. Glide score has been eliminated. All right. Top of the order, Magneton. Confusion. We're safe. This um, is the final turn of confusion, I think. Anyway. Yes. No, Aerodactyl's already... Oh, shit. Right. Mm. Honchkrow left up? No, it's Honchkrow no, and Aerodactyl. Honchkrow and Aerodactyl. But if I spark Honchkrow, I'll get Sucker Punch. If I mirror shot it, I won't. I quit. Right. Aerodactyl. Well... Actually, fuck it. Well, it's already it's already paralyzed. Oh, you forgot to roll. It still went through. But we'll mirror shot the pterodactyl. Uh, Uh, 
40 super effective steel type damage. Uh, it's it's con, con save is 22. And, and you said, said it was 40 super effective damage? Okay. Up, Up next is Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl. Ancient power on Magneton. Better range. Oh, oh, you're right. right. I also thought rate the uh, ancient power was a ranged attack, but it's not. It's it just it's not. No, it's, it's not. Oh, okay. It just looks like you, you throw rocks. I mean, it should. I feel like it should be in this, but it's fine. Yeah. How far so is Magneton's movement speed? Well, it's but it was confused. So, half. Oh, okay. So, so Aerodactyl can still get him. No, you know, I, I know. That's why I was saying. Like, oh, big rip. So, so yeah, then it will, then it will go, go through the agent power. Let's see if it's paralyzed. It is not. It worked. <laughs> it worked for you all those other times. Except for this time. And that's 22 to hit. And Rock is neutral to you. No, so, I resist. Oh, what, what about electricity? Electric is matter. not weak to rock. Oh, you're, you're right. right. I, I, think, I keep thinking yeah. about um, thinking about Brock and uh, his Onyx against Pikachu, but also Onyx is part brown, so that's why. Yeah. I literally had this argument with when I was like five, like six. A kid thought that, that Raichu's Thunderbolt wouldn't hit Kabutops. Rock type, and he's like, not effective enough. No, oh, it's super effective as rock water, and he's like, oh yeah, and I was like, let's battle, so. <laughs> level 100 cobble top versus my right thunderbolt. Yes, I told you. Uh, 26, 26 reduced, reduced to 13, 13 rock type damage. damage. Struggling is not a good enough. No. Hopefully, you get easier flying type. Up uh, next is Megalodon. Uh -oh. Emerge from the ground underneath the Aerodactyl. It's chop! Double chop! The chop! The choppening. The choppening! <laughs> you. I definitely miss it. Oh, that but was a 28 hit. That definitely hits. Wow. 15. Right. Alright. Back in the ground. Oh my god, I'm just gonna do it the slow way. <laughs> What was that? He's worried about his <laughs> fucking battle. All right, next is Honchkrow. And rock type damage. And the next turn is the last turn of Sandstorm. Mm -hmm. This is turn four. Um, Night slash Magneton. Well, let's see if it'll crit again, because it's crit every time it's used it. No, not this time. But, but that, that is a 16 to hit. Oh wow. Oh, oh wow. wow. Big rip. 11. <laughs> Dark type damage. I rolled two twos on, this D, on these D12s. Ooh. Okay. And top of the order magnetop. It's time for this Aerodactyl to the fuck out of my face. Spark. On the Aerodactyl? Yeah, that's what I thought. You don't take two forties in a row and come out okay. 
so that the magneton just charges up with electricity. I mean, I used to take two for. I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say you're gonna make it, you're gonna make an alcoholic <laughs> joke right now. Then just then just slams its electrified body right into air tackle space. Mm-hmm. Aerodactyl takes, takes this, this charges it. Aerodactyl, Aerodactyl is unable to battle. Aerodactyl, Aerodactyl is eliminated. Up next, next is Gabite. Uh, uh, Entrecro flying around, or is it? It's uh, it's close by Magneton, but it's like hovering above. Them. That's close enough to where you can hit it, though. Right? Yes. yes. It's not, not too far, far because Magneton had retreated to the ground. ground. Well, yeah, I did that. So. Pop up and give it the chopping. Sucker punch. punch. Yeah, I know. 21. Dark type! They fucking hate you! That's fine. 18 dark type damage. It only has 3 DP? Three. Yeah. I'm a time to wish this wasn't flying so you could Pangoro damage. everything to death. I mean, it might not be the worst thing to bring. I mean, it's probably pretty bad, but just like its damage output might be really. Bad. I know. Because if it, you get any like rock flying, no, normal flying, or. Uh, 26 on the first one. 26 hits. And a uh, 16 on the second one. 16 also hits. I fear one thing and one thing. First one is. 14. I'm not going to say he'll bring it. <laughs> first one is 14, dragon. Uh huh. Second one. Yes, oh, that's a that's a lot of damage. I'm not that's too max. fearful 20, of what he's going to bring, but there is plus, one. Sixteen plus seven. That's one. Like Twenty-three. I really don't want to see on the field. I will try. Multi-hit moves are just fucking stupid. They're so good. All right, it's Honchkrow's turn. Yeah. Ten rock type damage. Yeah. Honchkrow goes down. <laughs> The sandstorm just buffets. It gets hit with the dual chops and it's like, and it just gets sand in its eyes and it's like, ah! Honchkrow is unable to battle. Challenger Vincent wins. I saw that coming. The electric steel type trainer brings ground Pokemon. <laughs> I have two ground. What's your third specialization going to be? Ground? Possibly. Ground. The grass. <laughs> I mean, very dark trainer. It's going to grass to the it, fight. It might be ground. It might be... I thought you, you already had... Specialization is water. Oh, that's right. You didn't take spe- steel as a specialization. Alrighty. So... I haven't, I haven't decided. Probably ground. Wendy returns her Pokemon. And the sandstorm clears. And as it clears, she walks down with the healing machine. Congratulations, Vincent. You did a fantastic job. Ooh. Here, so you can heal them. Okay. You, you, you look on the sand, you just see us. <laughs> just <laughs> us grimacing. <laughs> just sweating. Just... <laughs> oh, boy. You, pl- you place your Pokemon in the healing machine? Yes. Ding, 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 ding. Um, <laughs> well, if they were as entertaining as, if they're as entertaining as you, then I will have a great time. Even, I'll have a great time even if they're not as entertaining. We both literally took a specialization that sucks against flying type. <laughs> I started with one. <laughs> uh, she turns to referee Bill. Bill, if you would announce the next one. Of course, Wendy. Everyone, let's congratulate Vincent on his victory. Will the next challenger please come down? You want me to go? I'll go. (laughs) And Christian, as you head down the steps and you pass by Vincent, that is where we're going to end tonight's episode. Thank you guys so much for coming with us on this journey. This new style of battle uh, for this gym Really excited to see how Christian and Ablaza are going to handle this. Uh, based on how they're reacting, it's probably going to be bad. So next episode's probably just going to be filled with both of their battles, or even just one. Who knows? No, no. 
I'll either win quickly or lose quickly. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, but thank Although you guys so you much. Get, you you, might you definitely have to tune in next time. You might see the first loss. <laughs> we. You'll see the, You might see the first two. <laughs> <laughs> there, we might have the first loss in our in our next episode. And thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate each and every single one of you. Uh, if you like what you see and want to see more, consider giving us a follow or even subscribing. That really helps us out greatly. And if you have an Amazon Prime account, that means you have Twitch Prime and you can freely sub to any channel of your choosing once a month. You just have to renew it at the top of every month. Um, but other than that, uh, we've been the Smoking Dragons and there's 20 sides to every story. Come and be a part of ours. Thank you. Good night. We love you. Stay safe and try to be the very best like it ever was.